I'm Sonia. Just trying to um, thank you for joining us this morning. I want to welcome you. You've been a member of our Sci Center for the past 20, 25 years. Um, so why don't we start with you sharing your journey with Swami? How did you learn about him? Well, my journey with Swami started about 30 years ago. Was it 25 years ago? I didn't come from a Swami-based home, though my mother used to go for Sai Bhajans. And I kind of was drawn to it, would go to Bhajans, because I just enjoyed listening to Bhajans. But my faith really developed when I, I burnt my um, thighs really badly. I had um, a pot of boiling water fall on me and my burns were pretty bad and at that point my mother came to me with a little box of uh, vibhuti and asked me to apply on it and believe it or not i have no scars i had no pain um i was crying and my mom asked me why i was crying and i said oh, i'll never be able to wear a bathing suit or shorts again but believe me, I don't have a single scar. I have more scars on my hands from cooking and ironing than from the burns on my um, thighs. So that was just the beginning. And I never thought a big deal about it. But there have been certain instances that has increased my faith more in Swami. And I feel he appears in different forms, in, the, in, in forms of different people just to give you a message or help you well um we moved to atlanta 25 years ago and um, we found the sci center which was really small in those days and we started going there um andrew would come my husband would come but he really wouldn't understand much about it being born and raised here but he did come and uh, that it helped me a lot in settling down in a new place and I was just uh, overcoming a major illness and because of that I had to make frequent um, visits to the hospital and on one particular occasion um, there was something that the doctors didn't like and it kind of made me a little afraid and I came home and on the way I said I just wish I knew an Indian doctor here who could understand the way I feel I don't know who all these people are that weekend we went for bhajans to a friend's house and she introduced me to somebody who is not a Sai devotee who just came there with her parents who were visiting and I was introduced to her and she was introduced to me and she asked me my name again, and I told her my name. And she said, were you at the hospital, the Emory Hospital on Friday? I said, yes, how do you know? She says, well, we were discussing your case in the hospital, and um, I know you're coming back next week, and if you need any help, I'm always there. There was Swami in the form of a doctor. I just had to ask. When I moved to the States, um, oh, we were first living in Boston, and I was extremely lonely, a young bride, I had no friends, I couldn't drive, um, my parents were away, I mean 8,000 miles away, and my husband was traveling Monday to Friday. So I managed to get a job in a daycare that was close to my house so I could walk to work. And one day when I was walking, I was really depressed and kind of crying on my way to work and say, I feel so lonely here. If only I could find somebody I could relate to. And when I went to work, there was another co-worker. She was from Venezuela and she tapped me on my back and she said, hey, you're from India. Do you know Sai Baba? It happened that very day when I was feeling really low and I turned around and said, Sai Ram. And we became friends, and the next day she came with a book, Baba and the Psychiatrist, and she gave it to me, and she said that, you know, you can ask your husband to read this since you say he's not a Baba devotee, and uh, you're not going to come to the center because it's on Sundays. So I took the book home, left it on my altar, never said anything to my husband, but he, that was the first step for him. He started reading the book, 
and for me it was like a calling i i asked for somebody and this person appeared so that was a wonderful experience for me and i really feel that if you really call him he appears i don't know how from where he appears or he does things so you know he's always there if you call him with a true heart and for me he's my lifeline i have any problems I just put it at his lotus feet and said, yours. You take care of her. Sai Ram. Jay Sai Ram, Sonia. Jay